It's here, the Manchurian Candidate on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Kino Lorber. It comes in a standard slipcover edition, available at your online retailers. Now, as far as remakes go, in my opinion, this is one of the better ones. A solid cast really bring this film together. The story retains the overall narrative of the original, but updates it for the early 2000s. Denzel plays his role with just the right unhinged energy. Meryl Streep is excellent as the manipulative mother of Liev Schreiber Shaw. This is a film I do recommend, even if you're a fan of the original, it stands on its own. The Manchurian Candidate on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has an aspect ratio of 185 to 1 with native 4K resolution and supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. According to Keenan Lorber, this transfer is a result of a remaster from the original camera negative. Right off the bat, I will say that the source does look cleaner than the previous Blu-ray in regards to dirt and specs. An occasional bit of debris still pops up from time to time, but nothing too egregious. The film on Blu-ray has always had a bit of a processed look to it and still does to a degree, but less evidently so. It really flares up when the trigger words activating Shaw are spoken and the screen brightens up. Bit rates are relatively healthy and consistent throughout the film. Grain structure is preserved well, but I suspect some light management may have been used. Sometimes the actors do seem a bit on the smoother side. As such, the enhancements of fine detail takes a hit. This can entirely be attributed to how it was shot, stylistic choices, etc. Textures do show an appreciable upgrade, but can vary from scene to scene. I will say that the 4K does present some notable image clarity over the 1080p disc. The included Blu-ray does have the same remastered picture, so the overall benefits carry over to that one. One other improvement is the implementation of Dolby Vision, which definitely gives the palette a much-needed boost. Colors across the board are decidedly bolder and visually more pleasing. Skin tones look natural, and white show good stability throughout. Black levels are generally well rendered with no obvious issues. Crush was not seen during my viewing. The Manchurian Candidate on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a DTS 5.1 as well as a DTS 2.0 audio mix. While it's not stated as such, it looks like a little bit of TLC went into the 5.1 mix. It's not one that reinvented the wheel per se, I do feel as if it is still too front heavy overall. The opening action sequence, for instance, packs a little bit more punch, but still doesn't offer an immersive experience. On the flip side, when Marco is experiencing his flashbacks, the audio cues freely move around the room in a pretty satisfying way. General ambience is also presented well during the runtime. The fronts do a good job with their respective audio cues and dialogue is clean and clear through the center. The low end is a bit on the reserve side, which after the opening minutes, you'd hardly know it was there. While this is a thriller, the LFE is used very sparingly. I did select the 2.0 mix for a few scenes, and it's a fine track for what it is. I didn't feel it lacked any presence from missing the surround output. It's really going to be viewer's choice as to which is preferred. Kino Lorber's offerings of supplemental material is made up of returning bits. An audio commentary by director Jonathan Demme and screenwriter Daniel Pine can be found on the 4K and Blu-ray. Located on the accompanying Blu-ray disc, a couple of featurettes such as The Enemy Within, Inside the Manchurian Candidate, is a typical behind-the-scenes look at the film. The cast of The Manchurian Candidate is interviews with Denzel Washington, Meryl Streep, John Voight, and more. Nothing earth-shattering in terms of info, but still worth the watch. A pundit's featurette, screen test, outtakes, and trailers are the remaining extras of note. For the picture quality, I'm going to give The Manchurian Candidate on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a B. While I wouldn't call this a reference quality improvement, it's a worthy upgrade over the existing Blu-ray. Dolby Vision certainly helps the palette look bolder and image clarity is better overall. This will probably be the best of film will look for the foreseeable future. For the audio mix, I scored this one a B as well. The DTS 5.1 is a good sounding track, even if it could have upped the surround factor a little bit more. In-film action is well presented and is clean with its delivery. Nothing too ostentatious, it's very much a straightforward mix. For the extras, I scored them a C-. What's old is old again, as no new supplements are found here. If you missed them the first time, this is your chance to see some basic behind-the-scenes stuff. So that is my review of The Manchurian Candidate on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave a direct Amazon link in the comment section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guide 365. I will see you at the movies.